fair warning on this episode of One Horn Larry's Garage, more boring electrical theory. So today I'm gonna to be wiring up a USB adapter into the dash of the truck. It's a dual outlet USB adapter. It's gonna go in the hole where the cigarette lighter used to be. The only difference is I won't need an adapter to put in there to plug the phones in. It's just gonna be two USB outlets hard mounted on the dash, kind of like the newer cars have. So, but before we get into that, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit more on the electrical theory side of things. Uh, you know, it, I talked about it some the other day when I was doing the wiring video on the truck and explaining all that. You know, but it's uh, sometimes it gets confusing as to why if you take a hot wire and put it directly to ground, it'll either fry the wire or blow the fuse. But for instance, this USB, as you'll see, I run a power wire in and then a wire out of it directly to ground and that doesn't blow the breaker. So I kind of want to explain why that is. And it has to do with Ohm's law. So here we go. All right, so Ohm's law. It's a, an equation for calculating and the equation is V over I times R. V stands for volts. R stands for resistance. I is current in amps. Okay, so we know that our system is 12 volts. So that's a given, and we can use that to calculate the other two. So this light bulb right here, I ohmed it out a minute ago, and reading through one of the filaments, this bulb has two ohms of resistance on that filament. So we know we got two ohms of resistance. So if I take 12 divided by two, it tells me that this light bulb when it's operating is six amps. So if you've got a 10 amp uh, fuse in that circuit, it's gonna be fine. Put a five amp, it's probably gonna get hot. It's gonna blow it. So that's kind of calculating the amps and resistance and everything. Uh, so then the question is, okay, why, if I touch that wire straight to ground, does it, does it blow the, you know, why does it fry everything? Well, let's take that same thing, and I did the same thing and put my meter on the chassis about a foot apart from each other, and it was 0.2 ohms. So that 12 divided by 0.2 is 60 amps. And that's why, if you put that wire directly through, there's no resistance to use up some of that current and it's gonna put 60 amps to that fuse. So this is what we're looking at. I bought it on uh, Amazon, I think it was like 10 bucks. You can hardwire it in and you flip it open and it's got two USB ports. So, and it lights up around the outside. So it should look pretty cool once it's installed. And it screws in through a hole. Well, truck head. The cigarette lighter. I masked it off since I've already painted the dashboard and I got to route this out a little bit to make the hole bigger. Uh, I went ahead and uh, put some tape over it to protect the paint. I'm going to mask off the sides too to help protect it from uh, sparks and metal flying. But I'm going to take a rotary file now, open that hole up big enough for that USB port to fit in there. hole is routed out to fit and that's what it's going to look like with the USB ports screws on from the back side so that's what it's going to look like it's just sitting in there right now because now it's time to wire it up but you can see that's what the hole looks like now just had to open it up I did nick it a little bit right there at the top but I can brush touch that and most of it's covered anyway by the outlet so now it's time to wire it in before I 
uh, hard mount it and screw it onto the dashboard. So before I hard mount it, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it, have the wires there. So all I gotta do is plug them in, slide it in, screw it down. Uh, I was going to wire it uh, hardwired so it was powered all the time. That way if I want to charge something, I didn't have to have the key in it. And I've got a circuit I can do that. This uh, harness kit has one for power seats that's powered all the time. I would, I'm, I'm probably not gonna use it because this truck probably won't have power seats. Uh, but then I got to thinking about it and if I leave something plugged in, I don't want it to drain the battery and might as well just put it on a keyed circuit. So I've got another wire down there for accessory two that came on this harness. I used accessory one for the line locker. Accessory two I'm gonna use for this and then it'll be keyed to where uh, it's only powered when the ignition is turned on. So that's what we're gonna do now. So it's kind of hard to see here, but uh, yeah, it doesn't want to focus. There you can kind of see it. So this is accessory two wire coming off of the uh, fuse box down there. So all I really need to do is run this wire over there, put it through that hole, put a spade plug on it, and then run a ground wire. So I'm gonna run the wire, put it through the hole, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I ran that blue wire. That's not it, that goes somewhere else. It's over here. It's all tucked up nice and neat under the dashboard. So I ran the blue wire, which is the power wire coming off the fuse box. And then the ground wire, there's a ground stud. Let's see if I can get down here where you guys can see it. Uh, yeah, right there. So there's a ground stud under the dashboard, but I've got about four things grounded to it right now. But that's what that is, is the black wire. So that's just the ground. So I ran, like we talked about in that other video, I ran the power wire from the fuse box, goes in here, and then the ground just goes over to the chassis. So it's all wired up, and I didn't want to mount it until we tried it out. And there it is, lights up. So it seems to be working. And I brought in, just to try it out, Find the cable. I've got this nifty light that uh, I got from the hardware store, a rechargeable shop light that I've been using. So I'm gonna plug it in and make sure it works. And it is charging, it's working. So the outlet does work. I can go ahead and hard mount it. Now, notice before I ran the wires through, I ran them through the lock ring. That screws on to here, holds it in place. There we go, all hard mounted. So that's what it looks like. Instead of having a cigarette lighter, got a USB port. Nice and clean. So that's done.